Yesterday was Bridger Bulls opening day and I had an absolute blast slashing pow and getting inverted with my homies. That said, today is Saturday, December 10th and my pass is only good on weekdays. So you know what I'd like to be doing today? I'd like to be ripping this big girl right here around in the mountains. But she doesn't have an engine. The washer I ruined in the last video finally came in the mail. So it's time to get this crank bearing installed and the bottom end back together. Time to pack some $50 grease into this bearing. Big thanks to my good buddy Rusty for hooking this up. Skidoo has a very precise volume, and this is about that. Yeah, it's a big old crank. Get a little bit more in this bearing on the other side. Brand new crank seal. Got this cute little foam ruler from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna apply some gasket maker using it. This is what the Skidoo manual suggests. It's something I've never thought of, and it's actually a really great idea. Except it literally doesn't work at all. It's going the old fashioned way. I could actually run out of sealant during this, which would be a big problem considering I have to get all this done in 10 minutes. You know when a tube of toothpaste is empty, but somehow you manage to get another week out of it? Exactly what I'm doing right now. Funny enough, that's exactly how my current tube of toothpaste is as well. It's called getting your money's worth, okay? Feel good about that. All right, we gotta move quick. <laughs> We're on the base plate. I'm a full short. There it is. That was like mildly stressful, but managed to get those bolts in without losing any oil, which means I think I kept the seal strong the whole time. Gonna need to look up the torque specs for those and torque it down. And four more eight mils. Well, bottom end is back together and almost torqued. I don't really have a way to torque the flywheel nut. I'm gonna wait until I get the cylinders back and I can use my piston stop tool to do that. But everything else is torqued down, ready to go and spinning freely. New crank bearings are installed, so that is a major weight off my chest. Bit by bit, she's coming together. Cannot wait to hear her run for the first time. Good night, little engine. <laughs> Well guys, it's now December 20th. It's been about 10 days since I rebuilt the bottom end of the snowmobile engine. I've been making tons of great progress in preparation for the new year to continue on the YZ and the sled. As much as I wanted to see the sled running in 2022, I should have those cylinders back from Millennium Technologies any day now. But like I mentioned in my last video, I'm heading to Arizona for Christmas and then I'm heading to Vietnam to go ride motorcycles for two weeks. I'm really excited to document that trip and show you guys what riding motorcycles in Vietnam is all about. For those of you also following the YZ build, the blast setup is complete. I have blasted a few parts and cannot wait to show you guys the content for that as well. Remember, one of you will be winning that YZ300. It is going to be an absolutely badass enduro bike. So if you wanna get yourself entered to win that, click the link in the description below. So that said, I think this is my last YouTube video of 2022. I am so excited for 2023 and the next year to come making content for you guys. I'd like to sincerely thank all of you who have been watching my videos. It has been amazing to see this channel grow this year and I cannot wait to see what next year has in store. I will see you all in 2023 with a Vietnam recap, a running snowmobile, and a badass YZ300.